heater might kick on, I don't know. So, as soon as I came down here, I smelled the smell of unalived, which is fitting because this is the underworld altar. And I think I found what it is, but I'm so confused. I can't even go look at it until I'm done going live. Turn it down one. Hello. We're doing spell work tonight. Tonight is going to be a love working. I do client workings live. I also do Wicked Scoops and Wicked Market. I have a few, few things. I have a little shop here in Kirkville, New York, where people can come shop. It's a little port store, but it's been doing me good for like six, seven years. Oh, but yeah, I think there's an unalive snake down here. But it doesn't look right. Spooky. <laughs> but it definitely smells like unaliveness. There's that distinct smell. You just know it when you smell it, right? I have a million things plugged in right here. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to the Witch's Inn. <laughs> Welcome to Wicked Spell Work. I don't know. Might as well go along with it, right? Hello, Amy. Welcome. Let's see what kind of weird noises happen this time. Oh, that's why a lamp fell last time. Bradley was on the, the glass table. Oh, he better not do it again. Maybe I should go stop him real quick. You know what, I feel like I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make sure the cats aren't being stupid real quick. So hold on, give me one second. If it's not kids, it's cats. If it's not cats, it's kids. Maybe I'll grab a flashlight and look at this snake. I put the lamp on the floor. <laughs> oh my god, this flashlight is not good. Well, never mind. I'm not gonna go look over there. Ugh, oh, that's so stinky. It totally smells like. What happened to it? That's what I want to know. It's like, looks mangled a little bit. But if it's in the basement, how is a snake mangled? You know? Oh, it stinks. Stink, 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 stink. No, it's gotta be that. Totally looks like a snake. Snake. Snakey, snake. 
All right, so we're doing spell work, all right? So I'm gonna show you another different way of, I'm just like talking it in. God, I feel like I should at least put it in a dang bag. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> do I go get a bag to put it in so I don't have to smell it? I feel like I know the answer to that question, but I don't want to get up. <sighs> yeah, it's totally a snake. It's got to be. Like, how am I going to pick it up? I don't have the grabby thing. Ugh, I'm going to have to pick it up with the bag and then turn it inside out. But it, like I said, it looks weird. Like something got to it. But what got to it? What could have gotten to it? <laughs> my cats don't come down here. I have a, a bar of wood that goes over my basement door. Some comments on the slide were filtered to protect the community's experience. Who said it? Did someone say something about the unaliveness? You got to say unalive. So I am going to get a plastic bag just so the smell can go away for me <laughs> and I can stop like talking in unaliveness. Even though, again, it is the Underworld altar, so it makes sense that it's happening. I don't want to leave you guys again because I have to put this on YouTube, too. YouTube, too. My house is very slanted. Am I allowed to show it on TikTok? All right, I'm gonna go get a bag. Let everybody know that I'll be right stupid back again. YouTube, I'm sorry, but at least you get a cool background to look at. Look at all the little jars and things. Look at all the little things. Oh, it stinks so bad. Oh my god, that stinks so bad. 
Hold on. Hold on, y'all. I'm about to walk through the place. Where's the other thing? Oh, even in there. Jesus Christ, Nina. It looked like it was in a knot. <laughs> Ooh, that was sticky. Crap, I didn't bring down any incense. Dang. <sighs> Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. So I picked it up. I put a plastic baggie on my hand and picked it up with the trash bag, turned the trash bag inside out and put it in a knot. And it's one of the smelly trash bags. Okay. So, and, ooh, remember the structure of the table. Okay. <laughs> so, I already smell a significant difference. <laughs> All right, so tonight we are making a poppet, and I am making it out of tissue paper. So I do have red fabric, but I do actually kind of like the idea of the tissue paper. So one one of the times we made poppets, we had no specific color. I forgot what color we needed, but we needed a color, and I didn't have it. But I had the tissue paper, so we used tissue paper, and it was awesome. So it has been incorporated. And the cool thing about tissue paper is you could write a whole petition all up in there. Whole petition. So this I would bury or burn. This one specifically I am going to bury because I would like the earth to harness it and kind of, you know, put it into motion for me. I did not write a petition on the inside. I do have the petition on the little main paper. Okay. I am doing a seven day candle along with this. Oh, excuse me. Oh, that was so unprofessional. I'm so sorry. Um, it was just a garter snake. Just one that was outside. That somehow got in and tangled itself all up in a knot for me to find it tonight. But I found it though. But it looked weird. But it didn't look like it was gonna be in a knot like that. There's definitely some residue left behind, but the body is at least in a bag. <laughs> but the snake's probably about this long. Ish. We get lots of snakes here. And yes, they have gotten in the house before. There's lots of holes for little rodents and things to get into this house. Wonderful. Yeah, the head almost seemed like it was in a knot. Yeah, it's very interesting. But maybe it was just all up inside itself. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So I, like I said, I am gonna be doing a seven day candle label with this. Of course, I got some oil on it. I was dressing a candle. Uh, yeah. This is a love working, but 
If you're doing any other kind of working, you can apply the same, I don't know why you can left that on, same type of rules. Just using different eyes. Okay. So this specific label is one of the old voodoo store ones. So we're also gonna put some herbs. I'm gonna cut the wick down a little bit. So I'm doing a love blend candle. So obviously with the seven day candles, you wanna keep it away from the center. about a quarter size around the wig. Okay. And you can get seven day candles. Miss you live. I really do love you, Jess. Yes, thank you. Now this is Angela that I talked to today, correct? Correct. So right now we're doing a working, this is a client working. Okay. So by the way, I, I do client workings live. I leave out all information. Nobody knows whose spell is whose. I like this. I feel like I'm in a beginner class, right? <laughs> and who knows, maybe I should start listing the materials you'll need and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Should I make this like, I don't want to make it VIP. No, this is fine. Cause I'm getting the client working. So it's a win-win for everybody. But yes, um, Angela, let me know if you don't want to be a part of it being live. Cause otherwise you can see you're working, getting done live and nobody knows it's you and you don't even have to comment on anything, but you could be putting your energy into it as well. So let me know. It's okay. All right. Awesome. Perfect. Perfect. Because yours is tomorrow. Although I just said that people... No, yours isn't tomorrow. I'm going to have to switch it then if it's... See? What did I do? <laughs> Why did I say that? <laughs> Never mind. Your working won't be tomorrow. Your working will be a different day. <sighs> we'll get it done. I'll tell you what day in private. <laughs> See? Let's not do that. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do, this is how I'm going to build the pop. Yeah, I'm going to do it the same way we always build the pop. -its. Again, when you do this with the tissue paper, you can write a petition all up on the inside of it. It's wonderful. So this is like a 20 by 20 size pop it. I feel like that's fine though. It's getting buried and I can cut it at the bottom. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, so for starters, the client, we're putting the picture of the client in the head along with the rest of the seven day candle blend. So that is a love blend. I do have quite a bit of client workings though, so we still will maybe do a working tomorrow, but we'll see. We'll see now. Oh, I already put two ingredients, but I do like to put my witch's hand on. And I mean, you can make your own tinctures. I know my brother sells some. This one is one of his, their old ones. And of course, if anyone has any questions, just let me know. All right, so we have the picture of the client. So the target always thinks of that person with a love blend. Okay. And that's gonna be all we put into the head. I feel like we need filler. You know what? Mm 
You know what? We won't even do that. All right, so I'm gonna cut some string real quick just so I have them ready. So head, torso, and the legs. Welcome. We are doing spell work tonight. This one is a love working. <laughs> So you are going to bring the corners to the center. Oh my gosh, it's so light. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find the center. Hold on. <laughs> Usually I'll have like a crystal in there or something, but we will not be doing a crystal this time. Stinking cats. Again, it's not kids, it's cats. All right, so remember, you can think of these as those little Halloween ghost lollipops. That is so much material. All right, so now we have the head secure. I think I might cut some of this. You know what, whatever. We're going to keep it for now and we'll cut it at the end. remember the structure of the table. Hold on, let me light this candle real quick. I feel like I'm going to put it over here though. Just in case. Okay. Now, just so you know, I do have the chicken heart saturating in a mix. It's a juice blend. Uh, and then I used a little bit of the herbs, some of the peppermint, uh, some of the colt's foot, and some wormwood oil, and some amber oil in this chicken heart, okay? And inside the chicken heart will go another picture of the client, okay? And there is writing on there too that is the petition of what we want to happen. So I am going to put the picture of the person of the target in the torso just free floating. Now this did end up getting some of the mixture from the chicken heart on it, which is totally fine. It's gonna anyway. Alright. So now we will add the dry ingredients. Thank you for the tiny dinies. Alright. So, uh, a lot of this specific working is about more communication, less ego, faithful, all that good stuff. So the peppermint, that's great for communication. The client wants a lot of communication. And that's what we're going for. Lavender, this helps soothe emotions to communicate properly. So again, we're going on the communication on that one. Colt's foot, this is great for love drawing. Lemon balm, this is great for healing and being in a space where you can communicate better with people. Bay leaves, now you can write things on the bay leaves. I'm not going to for this one. I'm going to crush up the leaves though. I am using five, which is the number of love. Okay. And then some Damiana. The set is great for love drawing, especially returning a love. Now there are the main ingredients for this working. Now you could take some of those and make an incense beforehand and burn the incense while you're doing this. Anything you would like to do to heighten that feeling, 
the frequency that we're going for in the spell work. So now we are going to do the chicken heart. I'm going to cut a little slice into it and then stuff the picture in there. So I'm using my scissors. And these are just dehydrated chicken hearts. You can buy these for your pets. Just keep, if you're using them for magic, don't just leave them lying around for your cats to eat them because they will. I can't even keep them in scoops anymore because the cat gets to it. All right, so soaking it in this solution makes it revitalized, rejuvenated, if you will. Okay, so I'm just gonna back in the liquid for a second. Okay, pictures on it. I'm actually going to use some string to kind of bind the picture onto the chicken heart. Now, the hearts can be used for many, many different purposes. They can be for love, anti-love. You can use tons of different ingredients. If you need someone's heart to, wait, why did I do that? Someone's heart to heal, you can use healing ingredients. dehydrated chicken hearts. Jeff actually found them. Alright, so I'm kind of just going to wrap it up like a, a sage bundle. <laughs> Gather this step. I'm making the torso. You could even write the petition on the outside if you're burning it, if you want to go that route. However you want to do. And again, you can just put it on the name paper on the inside too, or you can do both. However, however you feel like getting into it. Who's ever used, who has used tissue paper to make profits before? Gosh, it's like I don't need, that's so cool. I don't, I don't even need a string for the legs. Okay. Pop it. Isn't it beautiful? I only made fabric. Ooh. Zoom right on. The 
this seems so much easier, right? Oh my gosh, I know. Isn't it so cool? <laughs> you can even draw a face on that m and -er. Shoot, if you wanted to, get some Mod Podge and the person's picture on it. Psh, go crazy with it. It's a lot easier when it's tissue paper, not fabric. Isn't it? I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Very cool. And I think something I like about this too is I feel like the tissue paper will deteriorate over time, you know, and be one with the earth, especially when it comes to stuff, blossoming things and growing things and stuff like that. That's how I think of earth burials when it comes to poppets, depending on where it's buried. You know, with me, I have sections of my little cemetery. It's a pet cemetery amongst other things. And yeah, it's, it's got sections. There's like the love section, the cursing section, general. <laughs> the I don't know where anything's buried section. <laughs> I have a poppet section, uh, one that gets nailed to the tree. So there's, you know, it depends on what I want. So that's on the cursing side of things though. So this is the love side. So that's why I use the red you know, and that we're gonna bury it. So now, obviously what I would do, as you guys know, is name the poppet, the person that is in there. So when I do that, I essentially present it to the universe. I'm presenting it to each direction and saying, this doll is the same as the flesh and blood person and you put their name and their identifying information. Now, another thing is I will be letting this sit at the altar with most likely a tea light. I do have it set up in there to whereas I can do chime candles and not worry about them. A great thing to do if you do that is put it inside of a big cauldron. Like that is a surefire way to protect your property, <laughs> you know? So this, uh, seven day candle that will go inside of a bigger cauldron so I know it's safe even if something happens you know oh and you guys I got a really cool well I didn't just get it Michelle Vance gave it to me a, a while ago but it's a really cool light for the front of the shop mm -hmm. but yeah so um I can you know what this this will be the spell work tomorrow night will be the part two of this we'll go bury it I'll get the hole ready during the day, right? And I'll bury it. Does anyone have any questions? Did you guys enjoy tonight's session? Look at that, and it was less than an hour. This took less than an hour. And really, it didn't take me that long to get the... So as you all know, you'll get the hang of this. I love using cupcake papers as my what I hold my herbs in. Yay, good, thank you, perfect. I love the feedback and I'll probably ask for more feedback. I'll make a post about it and ask for, this will be on YouTube if you didn't miss any of it. But I like these because number one, they're disposable. So if you do happen to have poisons in them or whatever, they can just go right in the garbage, no problem. You don't have to worry about washing it and having to wash it a million times or just throwing like glass away or whatever but also they're stackable so it saved space on my tray i've used trays for everything this oh, i forgot something i forgot something i wanted to add you know what i'll bury it with it that's fine i'm burying it i have love me sprinkles but they're so small <laughs> i forgot about them so i'll just bury them with the poppet you'll be with me but yes i'm gonna bring this whole tray into the shop but that saved that saves a lot of room, so I can stack little little cupcake papers with the ingredients in it. And I just write for your guys' purpose what I put in here. I've got a D on here for Damiana. B obviously bay leaves. When I wrote that, I was like, why did I even put a B? I know what a freaking bay leaf is. Lemon balm. That looks like a smiley face, but it's a C <laughs> for cold foot. And then peppermint. Oh. Oh no, there's peppermint. That one's lavender. But yeah, anyway, it's it makes it very easy. And so do trays. I travel around my house a lot <laughs> doing spell work, apparently. 
Running spells does it have to be the right day and time or it doesn't matter. So I mean you know if you want to add in aspects like that then of course it's going to boost it right but is it necessary I don't believe it's necessary you know I do know I I prefer to do certain things during certain times but if it has to be done now it has to be done now and that's how I feel about that <laughs> I won't strictly only do something I won't sit there and if if it can wait maybe I might wait but it, it's all on how I'm feeling I guess but that's up to you that's totally up to you you know they say certain moons are better for certain things of course you know like the new moon is great for banishing and any kind of dark workings and the full moon is great for drawing down the moon's powers and energies and siphoning them into your body <laughs> <laughs> through bathing in the sun, the sun, the moon's rays. I can't believe there was an unalive snake down here. And this is all going to have to go on YouTube. And it still took less than an hour. <laughs> but of course, we'll do part two tomorrow. Alright, so that'll be the spell work for tomorrow. And I'm always open to doing client spell work. I do it live. So that way, people can watch it be done live if they want to. But yeah, if anyone wants a quote on spell work, just message me and we'll go from there. But I'll do it live. <laughs> I'll make a video about it and make it into a learning experience for everyone. And then, you know, because we're all about people doing it for themselves, for sure. I understand why people would want me to do it. I get it. But I also want you guys to do too, okay? Because when I read books, they say do this day or this time at 1 a.m. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. And then that's the thing. You know, I feel like a lot of the spell books out there are just bones for you. You know, they're just, they're something that you can base your workings on loosely, you know, and you just make it into your own however you need it to be. I mean, I'm sure if it's like, possible like it's one of those things where if it's possible do it at this time or whatever but it's totally not necessary that's my my opinion on that who knows i'm sure other people have other opinions I don't know. but really like even my workbooks and stuff i always say they're just bones if you want to change it to fit what you do then change it to fit what you do you know and write it down it has a spot for you to write down the things that you changed and then you can copy all that into your book of shadows which by the way I do have a bundle deal going on with my books my workbook so you can go ahead to juliescauldron.com and check that out but I'm gonna go bring this upstairs I will do a live tomorrow maybe I'll go live for scoops shortly I do have a little bit of time but yeah, any questions? I appreciate you guys coming and hanging out in this unalive smelling basement. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for asking questions. I enjoy questions. And I'll, I just help to the best of my ability. So also this liquid I am saving and I will be pouring that on the poppet once it's in the ground. Okay. Now when you're burying things, you know, you kind of want to be aware of the environment okay and maybe not put so much poisonous stuff in the ground or whatever or whatever you know this is just a cup of oils one little drop of oil thank you guys seriously i love this like i i i really think this is like a new chapter for me is doing this and it's i feel like it's because of this this sign totally made me like want to do it <laughs> and i was supposed to sell this but I'm not. It's mine now, which is. So yes, the replay will be available on YouTube tonight. I'll be up for a little bit, so I'll put it up there tonight. I have a decent amount of battery left and energy in my body. And it's the weekend. Oh, snap. And I'm single, you guys. 
I am officially, officially, officially single. Like I know, I knew I was going to end up this way and that's fine. Like I totally detached myself and I did a cord cutting, which I think was amazing. But yeah, that's, that's what happens. That's what happens when people cheat. You, you just check out, right? Yep, it's dragged on for far too long. Yeah, right? I know. I know. I was stupid. But the thing is, I've, I'm have i just open to love. And if I can give a chance, I'll give a chance. But I'm not going to give too many chances. I already gave too many chances. So, I'm good. I'm good. It's no more. Nope. No more interrupted lives. Nope. I'm not even going to ask him for his help anymore. Like, I'm seriously checking out. And that cord cutting, I think I already feel a difference. And I look forward to the growth that's going to happen. Because you know, we all know that every time you drop someone that has been holding you back spiritually, you grow exponentially as soon as they're out of your lives. So that's what's going to happen. So enjoy it, I guess. This is, I'm like super duper excited for doing this and helping more people. I'm sorry you don't deserve that. I've been alone for four years now because I was cheating on it. Yeah, yeah. And that's. I'm all set. <laughs> I've done, I've been, you know, I was married for 10 years. I'm a very loyal person. You know, I'm not someone, and this, this recent person, we were only together for two years. I'm not with my ex-husband anymore, but this person, we just had a baby. So it's, that's probably a lot of what kept me giving him chances as long as I did. And I gave him three months of chances. That's enough. I've had enough. My rose tinted glasses are now off. So here we go. That's totally fine. Y'all have been with me this whole time. <laughs> Going through the motions with me. And I'm sure you've seen me detach slowly but surely. You know. And I now I just don't care. Now I'm okay with with working working my way up in my spiritual ladder. Hello. Welcome, but unfortunately, we're at the end of this. However, the replay will be available on my YouTube. So make sure you're following my YouTube. It is at, of course, Julie's Cauldron on YouTube. YouTube.com backslash Julie's Cauldron. I don't know. Just search my, my shop <laughs> and you'll find it. So I'm going to get this up as soon as I get off of here. Yes, absolutely. We made a pop it tonight. So I do client spell work live. I do not disclose any information about anything it's just a teaching uh opportunity yeah so tomorrow night will be part two it'll probably be around the same time the baby typically is in bed by like nine and that gives me a couple hours to prepare everything luckily we just have to bury the pocket but i have to dig the hole so Hopefully I can get that done during the day tomorrow. And if you have any questions after watching the replay, you can post that on the YouTube video or you can message me here. You know how to get a hold of me if you need me, right? This was super duper fun. Super duper fun. Yes, I did just say that. <laughs> That's what we do on this channel. We have unalive snakes in our basement. <laughs> but you just gotta cover up your nose and get in a fresh scented bag. <laughs> I mean, I have what I'm here. I'm single. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Mm. Do you repeat the name when you are burying as well or just once? Oh, I do it. Yeah, I do it while I'm burying it. As many chances as I can get, I say the name. Mm-hmm. And I like, whew, yes, definitely. Yes, you have a good night too. Yes, and the whole time I'm burying it, I'm talking to it. I'm talking to the earth, and I'm talking to, you know, anyone I'm calling upon. Like, tonight, yes. Love workings that are like this are a form of a curse because you are taking someone's free will. So that is why I'm in the basement. <laughs> Your ears will be burning, repeating their name. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Maybe it makes them think of whatever I am manifesting for whoever I'm manifesting for. Right? I think it'll be awesome. But 
It's for only me to know the names of the people. I do not say the names out loud. I will say the rest of the stuff out loud, but I will keep the names to myself. So I'm excited for this. Look at the little legs. Like, oh, I feel like I've never made such a perfect pop. <laughs> Loving it. Look at even like the indents. Indents. I don't know why I said it like that. The indents that I see from here, I see two indented eyes and then a, a mouth. So it's quite perfect, actually. And you could fashion a thing if you wanted to mess with that in any kind of way or do whatever. I don't know what you want to do with it, but just do whatever you want with it. You could even dress it with oil if you wanted to. Shoot. I might do that to the pocket that I have on the tree. The most recent one anyway. I got a few nails that I have to bring out there with me tomorrow night. We are getting closer to a new moon, aren't we? We are. Oh my gosh, Halloween's gonna be on a new moon-ish. Huh. Dang, that's crazy. I'm gonna be walking through the cemetery and it's gonna be dark, dark, dark. Anyway, replay will be available very soon. As soon as I can download this, I will upload it to YouTube. All right. Okay. So I will see you soon. I love you all very much. Thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, which is happy witchcrafting. Bye guys. Have fun. Be productive. Do some things. <laughs>